I would now like to demonstrate for you how I explain or instruct my patients to execute VOR times two exercises. What we're going to be asking our patient to do is to hold an X in their hand and fully extend their arm. Now, while the head motion is occurring, we're going to be asking our patient to perform the opposite motion with the object. So as the head goes to the right, the object's going to the left and vice versa. Again, the most important aspect of this is the correct head speed as well as the eye's ability to maintain the fixation on the X with head motion. So go ahead and hold that here for me please. We're going to have two treatment directions. We're going to do horizontal head motion. So as your head's turning here, the object's coming out to the opposite side. Just like this. All right. So as they get the hang of actually executing the exercise, we'll next ask to go ahead and speed up your head motion just a little bit. All right. So the head motion is the most important. The amount of sway in the object is not so much important. So go ahead a little less with this and a little faster head motion. Here we go. There you go. Good. And as a clinician, we're assessing for any slipping of the eyeballs. And subjectively, we're asking the patient whether or not there's any blurring or any doubling of the object. If there is, then they need to go ahead and perform this at a slightly lesser velocity of head motion. All right, so go ahead and try it again horizontally. There you go. Good. That's perfect. Now let's demonstrate vertical plane motion. All right, so you're going to be looking up as this is dropping down, just like that. Perfect. And that's VOR times two exercises.